going to review the cleaning and maintenance portion of the dry fertilizer system on your soil warrior. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is remove this red door by removing these wing nuts or uh, D nuts, if you will. It'll give you access to the front portion of the meter body. On the bottom side, you're going to remove the meter body insert. Pull that out from the bottom of the meter body. And then on the back side, we will be removing the back door. To access the rear of the meter bodies, you will loosen these three wing nuts. Pull the bar out, and this plate simply lifts out. Now you have access to the back of the meter body. And finally, you're going to remove this T-bar to give you access to this area here. Once you've removed those components, you will want to crawl inside of the tanks with a pressure washer and wash with liberal amounts of water. Don't be afraid to use a mild detergent either. Wash from top to bottom, rinsing all dirt, dust, fertilizer, debris, etc., from the top to the bottom of the tank. Uh, some models are gonna have walk-off plates as you'll see here. In that case, you will want to remove block off plates before pressure washing the meter bodies. Once you've completely cleaned the inside of the meter bodies, come outside and pressure wash the meter bodies from the front and the rear. When you get to the bottoms themselves, as you see here with this cap, be sure to remove those as well and clean out any fertilizer that may be stuck in those areas. Once you have completed washing and all fertilizer has been removed, let the machine sit for a couple of days until everything is completely dry. Once it is completely dry, coat everything inside the metered bodies, inside the tanks, coat everything with a liberal amount of rust inhibitor. Thanks for watching this service video. Call Environmental Tillage Systems with any questions or to order parts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more videos. Find additional information on SoilWarrior.com.